Hello, my Sagittarius. This is an X reading to see if you guys are likely to come back together, whether it's just to talk things out or to have full on reconciliation. All right. So let's see what's going on for my Sagittarius friends. This is a general reading, you guys. So of course, it's not going to resonate for everyone, but take what resonates for you and um, whatever doesn't, leave it. Okay, because that just means that that part is not for you. I advise you to go ahead and check your moon and rising signs as well. And um, we'll go ahead and get into this, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's see, guys. All right, Saggies, here you go. And the person that you're thinking about, what is it that you want? What they want? Wow, what you need? what they need is anyone else involved for you and for them all right so Sagittarius <clears throat> I feel like you just want to feel good again all right you just want to feel yourself you want to feel confident um, you want to feel attractive you want to feel loved you know you just want to feel like yourself again is what I'm getting here okay what this other person wants, the person that you're dealing with, <clears throat> I feel like there was something that they had chosen to do in the past that they wish they could reverse right now. Okay? It's just what I'm getting. I feel like they went one, they chose to go one way. And I don't think that that path that they chose. Um, panned out okay so now they're wanting to come back towards you they're really wanting to come back towards you all right I feel like as far as what you need here um, with the devil being present I feel like there's a need for you to let go of your insecurities I feel like you're so focused on fixing yourself, if that makes sense, but there's nothing wrong with you, okay? Um, as far as, because this is, this is a fixation here. That's a fixation there. Um, there's also a need for you to not feel like you have to be perfect okay um to not feel like you have to be the perfect woman for somebody because there is no such thing just be you okay um i feel like that's what you're thinking like it's something that you need to fix within yourself and of course we all you know we are all works in progress now so not saying that there's nothing that you don't need to work on, but I, fit, I get this strong sense that um, your self-esteem is like your outer appearance does not reflect really and truly what you're feeling on the inside because I don't feel like um, you're feeling like the Empress, okay? Now, what this person wants is a strong relationship. I feel like they want to bring back, um, they want to put this connection back together. They want a strong family unit. And not necessarily with children, but quite possibly, you know, it could be. But I feel like they, they want this strong connection with somebody that they feel like is their ride or die. That's just a strong feeling I get here. Okay, now what you need is to not feel foolish about the things that, that went wrong in your relationship because it was not all on you. So please, with this devil energy there, don't feel like, you know, there's something that you could have done, okay? Because there wasn't there's what there wasn't um this person probably 
was very, I'm, I'm just thinking, and it just makes me feel like this because the way you're feeling over here, that this person was probably very manipulative towards you, um, put you down in subtle ways that you didn't even realize they were putting you down. But, you know, that is the mark of um, somebody that is skilled at manipulation when they can make you feel some kind of way and you don't even know what they're doing really until after the damage has been done. Okay, that's the energy that I'm getting here. I feel like this person needs to change that within themselves. They need to, you know, speak words of encouragement um, not be emotionally abusive. Um, they need to look out for your interests. Both of your interests. Not just their interests. I feel like. Because almost if you look at these cars, it almost looked like, you know, you kind of rev back because this person is holding their sword up it's like you're trying to dodge a bullet here and i feel like there are lots of blows thrown and maybe maybe physical blows but i feel like it's more mental um abuse than anything emotional abuse here <clears throat> okay is there someone else involved i feel like there are lots of people that find you attractive here i really do because you know, this is where you are as the Empress. There are lots of people that find you attractive. I don't really see you dating anyone. And I think that's another reason why the Fool is here. Is for you to take a leap of faith. Um, be confident in yourself that you can. There is somebody else out there that will accept you for who you are. Okay? Is there someone else involved for them? I feel like at some point there was, okay? I feel like, you know, they walked out on you. They, that's, that's what they decided to do here with those two of swords laying down there. They took these five of swords, all their hurtful words, and they took them somewhere else, okay? But this person, I feel like when somebody, and I've said this before, when people do things wrong to you, nine times out of 10, they end up coming back because wherever they are taking those five of swords they're going to leave there too okay so they're going to circle back around to the people that they feel like they can come back towards all right so here we go is this likely it is now the star is one of the best cards right there is lots of healing that needs to take place here on both sides i feel like this person's ego um needs a lot of addressing over here your self-esteem and confidence needs addressing over here you're going to have to build yourself up and this person is going to have to tear down that ego a little bit for you guys to be able to come back together okay otherwise you're going to end up here again all right all right, Sagittarius, so that's what I have for you. Um, the energy that I see present does not have to be these signs, guys, but it's just what, what I'm seeing here. And we have Aquarius, um, Virgo, Leo, Capricorn, Aries energy. All right, so and Taurus. So I will be speaking with you guys soon. This is for the 20th through the 26th.